Got it. You know what? That the recording, the YouTube people, it can have a little look at the cat. See what they're missing. But anyway, ow, fuck. Just ran over my toe of my chair, and now I'm crying. Uh, so 59, World in Black. Is a AUG soldier man. Broken through their perimeter, the Federation HQ's dead ahead. And then Henken, with the Universal Network manipulating the masses, Edel Burnell setting out to remake society as she sees fit. And Jurgen, if we let her go on, the entire world will be dancing on the palm of her hand. You hear me, Brigadier General Edel? Edel? The AUG demands a meeting and your immediate resignation. We want the whole hidden truth to be revealed for the Federation to be reformed along democratic lines. Heads up, Henken, they're launching something. And here's Adel's theme. A giant mobile weapon? AUG and Rebel Federation soldiers, you are staging a revolt against the sovereign of this world. For the crime of treason, I send you all to death. You're taken to the field yourself, Adel Burnell? So that's your true face. Someone who'd kill anyone who won't follow? All troops attack. She's looking for a fight, so don't hold back. Roger that. We'll put this puppet master down ourselves. Wait, don't charge him blind. Worms and ants, the lot of you. You dare skitter about the throne of your sovereign? Destroyed just one shot? This Lemuris was created to be the throne of this world's sovereign. As long as I'm piling it, you won't lay a single finger on me. All hands prepare to evac. I'll bring her down even after I ram this ship into her. Henken, Jurgens, pull back right now. That shitty old Hayato. Hayato? She just killed our men. How can we run off without avenging them? You just have to bear it. There's still a chance of true victory. True victory? It's them. Zooth have returned. What? Understood. We'll retreat and meet up with you. And they leave. <laughs> yes, flee like the mewling rats that you are. I'm Edel Vernell, sovereign of the new world. I will stow law and order unto society, a swift death unto those who do not submit. Ladies lost it. So, at the headquarters. So she's back and she's satisfied to have finally ascended to her rightful position. Uh, Fitzgerald has been promoted after Bloodman died, and Adel uh, has appointed him as uh, the third um, president of the Federation. But she's queen of the world, right? He's, he's just a figurehead. Uh, it's not endorsed by the federal parliament, but Adel says that she'll see that his confirmation passes. Her decisions are above all, any and all objections. Uh, Fitzgerald is appalled with her behaviour and asks if all her struggles in the name of peace were just an act. And she doesn't answer. He's like, are you sh finally showing your true colours now that you and Sirocco are gone? And then... Snaps. You do well to watch your tongue. I'm the greatest of all humans. It's only natural that I rule all others. And then she goes on about how the ignorant masses should be thankful that they're being ruled by her instead of uh, Sirocco. Who would just watch and Dewey, a delusional moron. And Dorindal. A fruitless theoretician. Fitzgerald uh, yells back that the world ought not be governed by a single person, but by people from all different backgrounds. And she just goes, Do you want to die? Because if you do, then keep on talking. This world exists for one person, one purpose alone, to be ruled by me. <laughs> and she's, uh, she's given him a position of authority, so what complaint could he have? And he, then he pauses and then says, do you actually have a concrete plan for law and order that you said you'll bring to the world? And then she says, I will rule the world with law and order. He's like, yeah, that's what you said, but you, you need a concrete plan to pull that off. I will rule the world with law and order. Period. And Fitzgerald said, is your cause no more than just a slogan? 
And he's like, alright, that's it. I can just get someone to replace you if you're going to oppose me. You're a traitor to the entire world. And then uh, GA shows up. He's like, I love you. Like, like this, this here. Is... I love So I love you. So I love you. He comes in. I love you, my lady Adel. I got some hot info here, so uh, let's all calm down. P pretty please, with sugar on top. And uh, he gives her uh, some info on uh, our mind burn return to this world. And she already knew about that because the Lemuries can detect dimensional tremors. And GA is like. Oh, I just wanted to have you. I just wanted to see your face looking all surprised. And she says, "I see everything, everywhere in advance, including what Zeus's next move will be." He's like, "Oh, very impressed for the world's most beautiful sovereign. Incredible! I will serve you as long as I live." And then uh, she gets a bit too close. He gets a bit too close, and she slaps him. And of course, what we know about Gia is like, "Oh, yes, please, more, please, again." And then um, she says, you know what, you did such a good job on making the Limores. Here's your reward. Snaps in three more times. And he's like, oh, incredible, I could die right now with no regrets. And she says, no, I've got another job for you. Go help out Laven and the others at South America. And Jay's like, but I want to stay with you. And she frowns, so are you going against my orders? He's like, no, no, I just, uh, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. And then, uh, I would never disobey you. And she slaps him again for his, uh, graceless sucking up. Fitzgerald is like, oh my god, this, f this woman, oh my god. Adel apologizes for GA's unsightly display. But with the Aprilius army gone, Zuth is all that stands between the unification of the Earth Sphere. And then once that's all done, then she'll rule the entire world, like no one else has ever done before. And Fitzgerald in with Lee's like, Zeus is the only thing that can stop this woman now. And now, to Trinity City. Uh, Dominic is briefing us on Dewey's ultimate plan for causing the Scub Coral to self-destruct via the surrogate command cluster. And that would mean, and Ren is like, but that means Eureka would die, and also all the people in the coral. And Gen is like, calm down, Ren. Jeez, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Eureka and your sister are all right. We're gonna get them. And Amaro says, yeah, if the program had been activated, then we wouldn't have been able to get in touch with the coral at all. So it's fine. But Marin knows that Eureka had to have placed the replace the command cluster, or otherwise the Coralians would awake and uh, would become awoken and trigger the limit of questions and end the world. So with that in mind, and judging from the readings about the dimensional walls taken since the Atlantia battle, Quinstein um, posits that Eureka is somehow in an incomplete state as the command cluster. Howdy Spam, how you doing? And what this means is she can control the coral and keep it asleep, but she hasn't been assimilated back into it which means the self-destruct program hasn't been passed on yet. Uh, Julie and Toshia uh, see that Eureka has been given the burden of protecting both this world and the Scub Coral at the same time. And Dominic then explains that the problem is she's reaching the limit of her endurance and dimensional walls have been getting more and more unstable. And it's pretty much 100% because of that. Um, so now we've got a lose-lose situation. If Eureka keeps going, she'll run out of energy, be absorbed into the Coral and that means all the people inside it would die, but if we free her from the command cluster, then dimensional collapse occurs, and everybody not in the coral will die. Uh, Renton's made a promise to Diane, his sister, to protect both sides, and he's going to pull it off. Um, Garrett's with him, though, because uh, there's loads of people living in this world, as well as the coral. Uh, Duran figures out that the Coralians uh, have just as much right to live as we, does, we do, so can't turn our backs on them. And Setsuko agrees that regardless of whether we can pull it off or not, you should keep trying. Uh, Dominic doesn't know if uh, Dewey was aware of the humans living inside the coral, uh, but he's, Dominic's on the same page as us, he's willing to fight in defense of all life. Uh, he openly admits he's being spurred on by his love for an enemy, and uh, no, he ain't embarrassed to admit it either. Yeah, he's just like, yeah, I love her. Uh, it's his wish to protest, uh, protect not just her, but the world she lives in and all the things she's yet to experience. Gainer is like, damn, 
I guess my declaration of love's just been one-upped. And then... Guy's like, damn. This dude's good as hell. And, uh... Hap and Matthew here, which is, well, Matthew and Hap in this order, they're like, whoa. And Donut's like, oh, did, 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 did... Is there something wrong with what I said? Have you got taken a sheet? And Holland goes, don't worry, they're just getting a big old sense of deja vu. And Talo and Gidget and Talo are like, yep, I've seen this shit before. But regardless, um, Akira and Jamil say that everyone here has been fighting with the same desire as him, except they don't want to kiss an enemy. Uh, and even uh, Holland admits uh, that we're working to save everybody. And uh, Ben and uh, Amara says, no need to get hung up on appearances here. And uh, Kay says Dominic has made the contents of his heart loud and clear, so he's more than welcome to join the crew. Uh, we've got to get Eureka back and keep the dream of coexistence with the Kryans alive. But Moondoggy uh, says, if we do that, that'll trigger the collapse, so what do we do? Only one option. Got to save everything, and to do that, we need to rescue Eureka and do the dimensional repair and stabilize the world, just before there's the big collapse. Got it. Nailed it. Easy. Athena then says, uh, we still don't know where the Great Singularity is, but Tsukikage brings in Manisha. And she's personally, and she's my sister, has come into Trinity City. While the Aman haven't found the thing itself, they did determine where the entrance to where it is, um, is located. Uh, Koji figures that that means the Great Singularity is not in this world, and he thought it strange that neither the Chiram nor the Amanians could find it despite their combined efforts. And she says, uh, actually, truth be told, the only reason we could find it was because the damage to the walls got so crazy that they almost collapsed following the destruction of the Tree of Life. And uh, then Eureka became the command cluster and prepared the deal. But while that happened, they were able to ping the spot where a massive confluence of dimensional energy, the Great Singularity, intersected with our own dimension. And uh, it's where the command cluster is, and that's where Eureka is. Uh, it seems to be in the skies above Equatorial South America. Well, America. And uh, outside the atmosphere, and Renton's like, Let's fucking go! Gonna see my girlfriend! Uh, AG said, Two birds with one stone, sounds good with me, let's go! But Camille and uh, Toga tell him to hold his horses, because we need to keep one thing in mind. The dimensional repair will be performed by us, the singularities, and our mind would shape the new world. But do we have the right to do that alone? Uh, Apollo says that if we wait around, then Eureka won't hang on and the scuffle will be gone. And Sylvia says that even if we still have some time left, it won't be near enough for us to um, hear and compile the opinions of everyone in the world. And then Dr. Bear comes in. And uh, he tells everybody not to give up before we've even started. He's got a plan for gathering the thoughts of everyone in the world. But before that, there's something that needs to be done. Uh, where's that at? Adet figures that it, he means defeating Adel, and again he says, yeah, that does need to happen, but we don't really got time to spare. But um, uh, Dr. Greg, that's his real name, agrees that the repair takes the utmost priority, but if we're going to convince every person to pitch it in their opinion, then they need to know what's truly going on in the world right now. And he doesn't mean just telling them about the Corallians, but of everything that's happened since the breaking of the world. The truth behind the war between the humans, the fallen angels, demons, aliens, everything that Adel's manipulation has done needs to be exposed. Uh, she built a system of control based on fabricated information. Once it's brought down, then the people themselves can decide. The issue with that is that the Universal Network's the only way to get a message to everybody in the world. And, you know, she controls that. Mizuki uh, here on the right figures that even if we use the terminal to do our broadcast, they just cut our access. So Roger says, well, why don't we go to the source and take the control station? And then we can broadcast that anyone's interference. And it's in South America. So that's three birds with one stone. Take the station, peel away our eyes, head to space for Eureka, dimensional repair, back in home in time for tea. Uh, Roy B doesn't think it's going to be that easy, and I'm always like, of course it's not. United Network's the cornerstone of Chimera's power, so it's going to be heavily guarded. And Stoner says that even if we do successfully take over the station, you can't just broadcast whatever out to the world and think it'll stick. The Chimeras are way more experienced than us in this sort of warfare, and if we don't make an incredibly well-rounded persuasive argument, it'll just get thrown out the window as the ramblings of terrorists, right? So we need to tell people the truth. 
and also get them to believe it. Which means it's got to be covered with a huge pile of evidence. Uh, Fried and Sarah uh, understands because society is going to be leading heavily to Adel's side, so convincing them is going to be difficult. And uh, Julie agrees. Um, all the manipulated information paired with uh, Adel's uh, angelic visage has elevated her to a near goddess like status. And Yul says we're going to need some real good material to break her eyes, and it needs to have strong visual appeal pictures, videos, anything that will add credence to our words. If you had time, we could just ask for Kai and his journalist friends to get all us, but we don't. And the plan hinges on what we do have. But Setsuko holds the keys to our victory. Uh, she has a uh, she has a, a gun camera in the Vergola, and it's taken shots of everything that's happened ever since the first uh, break the world. Remember that shit that was mentioned all the way back in episode friggin' one scenario one? Oh yeah, it's got a camera in it so we can see all the good shit and we know what works and what doesn't work. Uh, all this time since we've been recording no battles as per Denzel's orders. And that will let us showcase what actually happened at Unia 7. And the space-time oscillation bomb and everything. We got all of it. And um, Kay's like, you know what, Sitsuko? I think it's some prime time material. And then Sitsuko in turn is like, thank you, Chief. The mission you gave me will let us rouse the entire world. Um, and on Rand's route, then Mel's like, I don't want to give up my notebook. But it's fine. Uh, Holland uh, trusts uh, Dr. Bea. Uh, yeah, Dr. Bear to do his part after we've done ours. And uh, he's like, yeah, I want to help in any way I can. And he says, all the people on the planet itself uh, wish for space-time to be repaired. And uh, we also need Eureka's uh, own strength for this, so he's counting on Renton to see her back. And Quattro. Well, with the material we need, the remaining question is how best to impart it to all the people. Armoro? Now's the time, Lieutenant. Hmm. Getting me them goddamn shivers, I love that quattro bugina. Ooh, yeah. But anyway. In the UN station control room. GA's arrived and he's like, ah, oh, brilliant, Chimera Squad, you're all here. And the Laven says, uh... Yeah, so he's like, all the Chimera Squad are here. And then Laven says, well, I mean... Us three are literally all, well, yeah, us three are literally all of Chimera Squad, so it's not that big a deal. But uh, Zine uh, figures quality is over quantity, uh, is the watchword of the day, and Edel's victory has proven that. And uh, Laven is full on, like, hell yeah, the world exists to be ruled by Edel, and says that her victory was a foregone conclusion. And Zine's like, what a loyal papa you are, despite your issues with women. But then he says, ah, don't get me wrong, I would rather see every single woman in this world die as long as their name's not Edel Burnell. No exceptions, even you. And then Xena's like, D -d -d -d. and Shane's like, alright, you two, cut it out. Whatever our reasons, we've all taken Edel's cause as our own and we'll do our best for that, right, everybody? And Laven is like, yes, she is a goddess and I would sacrifice all that I am, including my life, to her. And, uh... Shlan is more like, yeah, I mean, I guess, but I'm more interested in a strategy. I just wanted somewhere where I could put my skills to work, getting a chance to control people with information from behind the scenes. And, I mean, you don't get many chances to become the Illuminati, right? And, uh, Zine inwardly is like, damn, Shlan, he loves to go on about how fucking creepy he is, right? But anyway, she knows that she's got no right to criticise. Uh, GA then asks if she's got any words for the final battle for Earth. And she's like, what do you mean? He says, well, the final battle will happen soon, because Zeus are on their way! And Lohan is like, brilliant! Gonna get them! And Shlan's like, don't underestimate them, they're pretty good. And Lohan's like, doesn't matter, we're gonna destroy them anyway, there isn't a person in this world who could stop me right now! And then Shlan is like, wow, so fired up. And uh, Lohan is like, yes, thank you for the praise of my passion. And then Zenon is like, wow. Hmm. Wow, Shlan, just, uh, seen right through your act. I wonder what lies behind that calm, fake smile. He wants to smooch Lowen, by the way. Uh, either way, Lowen is like, you better be ready to lay down your life if that's what it's going to take to bring uh, Adel's world to bear. And he's like, that's exactly what I had in mind. And Shlan is like, well, I wonder if that'll change when push comes to shove. And she's like, listen. But 
I hate this messed up world from the bottom of my heart, and if Edel means to restore order, I won't hesitate to put my life on the line. And then Laven is like, oh, you'll do that in the name of your dead subordinates, huh? How admirable. Admirable. <laughs> yeah, you would have thought that while I was with the good guys, Hector's room was a massive candle that shrine to everyone else again to go the way. Uh, yeah, like... He's like, check this out, the internet's really good, it was invented by the most beautiful woman in the world. But, uh, Slam buys it and says, don't worry, you'll get payback into corrupted fate. Uh, Laven wants uh, things ready uh, for, for when we show up, and Slam's ready in the cameras to transmit the battle live. And it's going to paint us as rebels, to seize, trying to seize control of the Universal Network. And then once we're suppressed, get even more support from the Onward Smashes. So, they leave. Xena is like, Bleh. And then GA is like, uh, he prods her with lots of puns and innuendos, which uh, they don't have the patience to translate, as the translators know. But um, she gets real fucking annoyed. And then he's like, oh, that was that better than staying down. And says, alrighty, now that you perked up, I've got some really special info here. Would you come closer and lend me your ear? And no way, no, I knew you might try biting my earlobes or something. Rude! I don't even smell them. Alright, enough of your nonsense. I'm in a bad mood, if you couldn't tell. D -d don't be so angry. I was just about to say what happened to your men. Huh? On that day, over a year ago, you and your fellas were caught in the blast of the oscillation bomb. Right outside this elevator, right? Well... It looks like people taken by warps are still alive behind, beyond the dimensional walls, inside the scub coral. I, is that true? Yup! But, if that replacement girl goes and becomes the command cluster for real... All, all dead! What? It's true! Saw it in the secret Dewey files! So, stabilizing the world, would mean the death of those inside the coral? And it's not just your men! There's another kabillion people inside, and they'll also die. Huge bummer. No. Oh, 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 I almost forgot. That guy sent a message for you. Uh, live free. Mr. Handsome says the loveliest of things. That man, he told me what freedom means. Oh, that person gave it to me in the first place. World peace at the expense of so many lives. What should I do? You go and live your life as you want, Zini. Freedom's the most important thing in the world, you know? Professor. Say is Lowen. Come, Zooth, you're in for a rude awakening if you think the Chimera rules through intrigue alone. Lowen, what happened to your face? It's the final battle, right? This is my way of demonstrating that this time I'm fighting with all I have! War paint for a warrior that's about to face his ultimate showdown. My fighting spirit burns as a raging inferno for Brigadier General Adel. Ah, aren't you hardworking? They're completely different from the vermin I've fought so far. Zooth are the only enemies which get my blood boiling. Suppressing the insurrection in the Kingdom of Scandinavia, the anarchists inside one, movements for independence. You've been given such tedious missions while they were busy fighting Zaft and the aliens. This is different though. These enemies we destroy without holding anything back. Let's have some fun, Zooth. You'll be met with the full power of this UN station. And then... GA here. Wow, 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 You two are so fired up, it burns! If I was just two years younger, I'd be out there with you. Professor, your task is to record all of this battle. We'll crush those terrorists in the entire world. We'll bow for Brigadier General Adel. Zini? No going back. Not for me, not for the world. Wake up, Zena. They're here. <laughs> Lewin's a wild dude. Alright, so we get four things. Uh... I want to bring the Repairer, and then I want to bring the Eternal. Um, Diana's pretty good too, and then the King Bill for the the big zaps. So I'm bringing the the combo required, uh, and then we bring twenty nerds. Uh, if you can't fly, get to the front. If you're cool, get to the front. That dude can't fly. Look at this fucking map! Who made this place? Well, I, I, I was gonna say, who made this place? Uh, K did. But he fucking blew it up. <laughs> but, other than that, who made this place?
Yeah, that's good enough. Now here's AJ. This is the UN's main station. They've transformed the orbital elevator into a fortress. Which truly is their lifeline. And Eureka's waiting way above that thing. Hang in there, Eureka. We're coming to get you right after we tell everyone the truth. Moron, Bakayaro. You think you, we'd let you do that? Low in general. You already know the details of Dewey Novak's plan. Stabilize the world by causing the Scob Coral to self-destruct. You see no problem with this. But there's a huge one. A huge problem with it. Aren't you aware of the countless humans that are alive inside the coral? One of them. Among those people, there are all those who are warped between the dimensions because of the break. They're all gathered from loads of different worlds, and you're going to let them all die? Let them die? Say it like it is. Those people are dead! <coughs> Only those who exist in this world can be said to be alive. So you mean that those who are living in a different form aren't even considered humans anymore? Correct. And, even if I did acknowledge them so, when you weigh their lives against our entire world, the choice of which should survive is evident. Wait, there's no need for us to choose one or the other. Yeah, there's a way for both our world and the coral to survive. Ah, yes, the dimensional repair. This is not acceptable, unfortunately. We thought up a way of get to gather everyone's wishes. Still not good enough for you? Give fools that sort of freedom and they'll be crushed by it. A famous philosopher once said, man is condemned to be free. And then Sandman, what he meant was that all men have no choice but to be free and take responsibility for their actions. Still a condemnation. Freedom is no more than a heavy burden for the masses. I'll put this in a way that's easy to understand. Swine are at their happiest when they're being fed. Is Edel Burnell also possessed by such a twisted desire to lead? You misunderstand. She isn't this world's leader. She's its sovereign. She'll free the people from the burden of their freedom. Of course, many of them have already stopped thinking for themselves. And then Cabe, screw your condemnation or whatever. The hell you think people are? Freedom is a great responsibility, and having to make your own choices can be frightening. But the people gain nothing if they don't overcome that fear. No one decides how I live my life but me. I'll never give away that right. Oh, nice. But do you think the others want that as well? It's neither you nor us who gets to make that call. It's up to every single person to decide how they want their future to be. No matter how frightening or difficult it is, that choice can't be passed over to someone else. And what we're doing is giving the people the chance to decide for themselves. <laughs> Big cackles from Lowen. Jerks! I finally got something cool to say. I finally got to say something cool. I got something cool to say. I said this thing that's cool and you laugh at me. You came here to commandeer this station to sabotage Brig Brigadier General Adel's success, didn't you? I suppose you'd attempt something so useless. The truth is meaningless to the people of this world. Once again, it's neither you nor us who gets to make that call. What we came here for is to return the truth you've stolen and turn it back to the people. And while we're at it, we'll kick your butts for how much you screwed with us in the world. Fine with us. Brigadier General Adel wants you all dead anyway. Such fools. They have so much power but allow emotions to dictate their actions. You're making a big mistake if you think that sass will make us waver. After so many hardships, we finally found our answer. Our minds are set. People who'd hide the truth have no right to take care of the world. Whatever its shape, this is where we all live. Open fire. Here and now, we end the chimera and bring everything to the light. And then, please, hold on. Let me fight just a little bit longer. You think you can crush my devotion for Brigadier General Adel with such middling commitment? They're all dreamers and now it's the primo time. They got a harsh dose of reality. Setsuko. Zuth, you're far too late. Cena. You're free to do whatever the hell you want. Well, I'll keep trailing the path I chose for the sake of this corrupted world. And here we go. Last SR point. Uh, no crazy reinforcements, nothing. We just gotta beat everybody within seven turns. And there's a whole lot of shit. Destroys. Psycho Gundams. Birds. Mass produced versions of each of their robots. The weird aquarium. Got this one in the friggin' bag! 
So, let's give it a go, shall we? Oh, finally, the birds aren't in wide. Oh, these fuckers are. Fuck you. <laughs> I was still having doubts about this whole dimensional repair thing. But now I've made up my mind. Selfish bunch like you can't have this world. We'll do the repair by hearing what everybody wants. You tell them, Kay. You give them the big fuck. <laughs> Any particular about Lunar Raiders with Kay and Orson? It's just somewhere that had a slot for her to go, really. That's pretty much it. She can fly, she's pretty fast. That's it, really. They did have King Gainer sandwich in the middle before, but then I moved him somewhere else. Mostly the bench, where he gets to live in hell. And also, she's a babe, and Kay loved them, babe. Your plan crept into the world from its shadows, but that ends here. I'll take back the truths you've hidden from your citizens, Chimera. I think Athena has one with Orson, maybe? And I think it might not be till Z2. And I think she doesn't in this because she's optional. Yeah, Kay and Orson definitely have a thing. But I think the three of them are next game, maybe? Actually, might do. They might have, like... I'm sure they have a unique try where they get more damage if they do it. <sighs> Orange juice is good for you. Like down the fan. Alright, let's see what we can do with this then. Um, you did it, dude. Oh, get over there. <laughs> oh, I hate that dude a lot. These are all sent it too. Alright. Alright, lady. Um, let's do her because she has plus one movement. Incredible running animation of the dog. Probably the Gavangoon, he's the Kakushiki man. And he's lasted all fucking game in it as well. Oh, wild dude. Get in the sky. Okay, yeah, I need to send somebody over to deal with the fucker. Someone has to attack, uh, Xenay. You seem to have government and control confused. 
We will not say the men who lie to the masses in order to control their minds. You tell them, Daisuke. And then Setsuko, someone else has to fight Xena, then Setsuko has to fight Xena, and Setsuko has to talk to Xena. I'm Shin Asuka, and what was my least favourite thing? Here we go. Maybe the war would end if you all just ignored the unpleasant truths. But it wouldn't be real. We haven't fought this way for people not to be able to live how they want. I'll fight for what I believe in. Does it really? Does the one that they have in Tengoku really count as a team attack? Like a combination attack? Just because it's an attack he does that she joins in on. Like she just gets flown in from outside. Nice work, Kai. You did it. You did it. I mean, it does have an eye field, right? Yeah, so it reduces damage from beam. So she did alright just to do that much. And then I'm gonna do that with him. Oh yeah, these guys don't have a an accelerate. Nine God Sigma. We may have lost the info battle, but we're not losing this one. Once we're done with you, we'll tell everybody what's happening to the world. Friggin' UX and BX. I really hope that the thing, the switch, isn't lit region locked, but it's gonna be, so fart on me, I guess. Thinking about Angel. Angel, the very fact that we're here means you want this world to continue. If you love the world so much, I won't let it end. I'll even fight to keep it. And Jiren doesn't get to join in because uh, we're too close. All right, bongos. Uh, you who? You go fast. That's it. Here we come, Chimera. You can't use any of your dirty tricks now. This ends here. We'll reclaim our world's future. You tell them we should. Bang bang! Gravity rank! Look at that. Nice work, Mr. Sandman. Love that dude. Name someone who doesn't love Mr. Sandman. I'll show you a fucking liar.
Pam pam. Pam pam. Pam pam. You know who I love? Coming. I love that dude. Sandman. Just gain. Shlan and Raven. Don't got friggin' Camille on this one. I guess we don't. Okay, extra dialogue, here we go. Nope. Nope. Looks like no Camille here on this one. But it's going to be the same thing that everybody else is saying. We're doing this for everybody in the whole world. You big fuckers. Oh no, here's Camille. Uh, preying on people's anxieties to manipulate their emotions is tantamount to mind control. No one who does that is fit to lead our world. Ah, Camille. You've been reading years and years of people's not understanding what happens with Sirocco and Zeta. What I am gonna do though, which I should have done before, is confuse. I'm Amaro. Here was Amaro. Uh, no group of people may decide the fate of all, hu all of humanity. Everyone has the right to pursue their own future. And we're gonna make sure they can. So, Kaiji, you know you're friggin'. You know you friggin' Gundams. Maybe Tail Saga is too. The six armed fucker. It's the Gyan Custom is the night one. Uh, the, the Zeta Plus Hummingbird is the the one that looks like the the High New and the Deep Striker. But the six uh, armed fella. Yeah, I don't know why I was not using the Super Gunner in Z3. Just not allowed that, it's too cool. Just gotta have the regular Mark II. Actually, I know exactly why. It's because it's got too many attacks for them to an animate. Yeah, they're from uh, Genesis. Whereas in Z3, it's like long rifle, beam rifle, beam saber, um, bazooka, right? For the Mark II, it's only got four attacks. Get stuck in, big boy. Yeah, the 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 the, the night-looking one is the Gyan Custom, and the other one's the Zeta Plus Hummingbird. But I don't know what the friggin' six arm fella is. Okay, now I've got to find Quattro Bajin. Okay, here's Quattro Bajina. Uh, once they know the truth, what path will humanity choose? If you want to see, we have to make it through the Chimera. The the one that looks a lot like the third, it's the It's the Zeta Plus, but with loads of Deep Striker stuff on it. 
Like the gun is straight from the deep striker, and then the um, so it looks like someone mashed the high new and the excess together. <laughs> Man, I can't wait for the perfect Zeong. The perfect Zeong's in the trailer as well. Like in their bit where they're like, we're gonna show off the, the regular Zeong. Like, like when they're showing off all the like the entire UC storyline, there's Quattro in the perfect Zeong because he's got legs and everything. Come on, Chimera, you're not gonna fool the world anymore. We're gonna take you out and tell them all the truth. And uh, meanwhile, Shin Koji like, come on, come here, you're not gonna fool the world anymore. I'm dragging you out of him, beating your butts till you tell him. Double kata. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I'm running and I'm gonna save Eureka. I love that lady. She's 14, and so am I. I have to get to Eureka, so we have to get everyone's desires together. Wait for me, Eureka. I'm coming! Howdy, Werewolf. Welcome home. The goddamn anime. Wait, are these. Damn, there's special new leader crows! Oh. I believe. Nope, going is down. It is. We've been through a lot because of you, but it's our move now. Chimera, I hope you're ready to see what we're capable of. Flip shit. Genocide's Earth. Gets framed for murdering a professor. Target. Probably just uh, pick them up. That's fine. Ba 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 you may control 99% of the world, but you haven't won while we're still here. Here I come, Chimera. I'll stop your plans even if I'm the last one left. But yeah, like, uh, it turns out there's actually loads of melee stuff in G-Gen. Because all the side story video games uh, have loads of melee dudes in, because melee dudes are cooler. So when you make a video game, you make cool dudes. Oh, is the moon out? The moon's out, good. I will combine then. Where's that nerd? Where's the nerd? I need the nerd. Where's the nerd at? Oh, there's the nerd. Alright, they're all the way over there. Never mind. Because in theory, they got to hang out with Kira. <laughs> After this battle, it's going to get quite a very long rest. It's alright. He's busy. 